Hello everyone and welcome to US Airsoft. My name is Scott Slade Hollenbeck and today we'll be doing something a bit different. It's time for an unboxing from Airsoft Station. So let's tear into this Vulcan tactical box to see what I've been sent this time. Checking the box first, I can hear several things rolling around so my guess was that I was either sent scopes and sights or some accessories. But I wasn't too sure until I was able to cut away the tape with my box cutter and peel back the box's top flaps. Top flaps. That can't be a name for those things. After the box had been opened, it was clear that I was sent a multitude of all sorts of different things, but let's go through each one, one by one. Looks like the first of the items is a drop leg from Condor. This would be the double stack magazine drop leg, which I've seen a few over my time playing Airsaw. I've always liked this drop leg as it gives me the impression that this drop leg is for emergency magazines. Also, if you're using polymer magazines like Magbrand or KWA K120 magazines, this drop leg should stay light on weight and shouldn't move much on your thigh. Next would be this little cardboard box, which I'm guessing is a PQ since it only says it right on the label. Let's just open it. Oh look, what a shock, it's a PEQ. But that's not bad. This would be the Lancer Tactical PEQ, which comes with a built-in green laser that is of actual great quality. The box itself is made of a polymer and is hollowed out for your batteries. However, a battery is included with this one for the laser and a sticker sheet for the box. It says that it's a class three laser, but I'm not quite sure about that. It does reach out quite a ways though, so it could be. The next little box happens to be also another PEQ by Lancer Tactical but it looks like this one is in black. Now I'll have one for my M27 and my M14 EBR, so that's cool. And since this one features a red laser, unlike the other box, that's a bit of a bonus since now I have options. We'll definitely have to go over these in a later review to see if this would be something worth buying. Next up looks to be a UTG hairstyle bipod, which is freaking awesome. I've always wanted one. Bipods nowadays aren't exactly the most requested thing by players. However, I've wanted one to complete the look of many of my different rifles. Already I can tell this thing is built tough, but we'll just have to see how it fares in the review I have planned for it. So far we have some good weapon add-ons, but Airsoft Station is not done treating me. It looks like they decided to throw in some Condor gear as well, beginning with this Strike Bungee Convertible Sling. A sling is a sling, but this can also be used to complete a look I'm going for on a certain rifle setup I have going on right now, which I may show off very soon. And it looks like the last of the goodies would be another drop leg, which looks like a dump pouch or a utility pouch. I've only seen this pouch probably twice before, but I've heard good things about it, so this might be something good to have. But I'll be testing this and the other drop leg I was sent over for a few games to see if this is really something that will stay in my collection or not. Seeing as I tend not to keep drop legs, seeing as they always tend to flop all over the place when I'm running. Expect reviews to come out soon over all these gifts from Airsoft Station, and let me know if I should continue to do more unboxings like this one, or if I should just skip these altogether. But like always, I'll be sure to keep editing and filming more original content for you to enjoy. But until the next video drops for you all, I'll be sure to see you all next time.